this is the final battle. Welcome back. Alright, if you want to see more Wargame on the channel, make sure you click or tap that like button. Let's get it up to a thousand likes for the end of our playthrough of the European Escalation missions on the channel. You can do it. Alright, this is it. Our final battle where we're invading uh, and pushing through Czechoslovakia to Prague to secure our two satellite states. This is the very end of our campaign. We have broken the Czechoslovakian lines in front of Yichin. Their troops are in full retreat, but a rear guard is still trying to organize a defensive position near Zidvinis. Our vanguard has been harassing the retreating enemies for several days. We've thinned their forces. NATO's rapid reaction units are coming to cover the Czechoslovakian forces. We must destroy as much of the latter as we can before they arrive. Indeed, we must destroy the Czechoslovakians, the Western Germans, the Americans, and the British here today. We must push through, comrades, for socialism. Let's go ahead and destroy all the targets on our left and right flanks. The Czechoslovakians have some uh, remaining units that we're going to uh, try to crush with our various uh, skill-leveled... Um, choppers and tanks and such that we had from our evacuation mission. So now we're continuing through. We need to get ourselves some recon out too so we can spot where the enemy is. Let's get those with our choppers. We're going to have uh, two wings go out either side and eliminate all the enemy forces out there. Wow, look at all the enemy forces. Sheridans and everything there in full retreat. We have broken through the line. Fantastic. And now we are ready to bring the pain to them. Let's continue to bring that pain in the form of uh, T-80Bs. Let's bring a lot of those out. I think... Uh, Two groups of those should be good enough to start with, and we'll uh, double our efforts in the air with choppers. We'll have two wings go left and right to try to swoop around the enemy and crush them. Meanwhile, we have areas at Jot and Leonid that need to be taken, as well as securing Zipfinis within 14 minutes. So we better go quick, so we're going to try to push with everything we've got. Helicopters burn through a lot of fuel and a lot of ammunition quickly, and they're highly inaccurate, but when they do make a hit, it's devastating. So we're going to continue to pursue with everything we have and capture enemy FOBs, forward operating bases, in order to continue to bring the pain. Let's bring our uh, helicopters up here, our recon helicopters, and keep spotting them. Looks like the Americans are over on the right flank. I see V-150 90mm and armored cab and Sheridans, and uh, some Czechoslovakian units on the left in the form of a lot of T-34s that we need to thin out. All right, the tanks have arrived. Let's continue to push in the center. We need to do this ASAP. Look at that, RM-70s. Those are annoying. Those are actually rocket artillery. I'm going to go for that. I want to eliminate that uh, rocket artillery so it's not used against us later on. All right, also a FOB over here is going to be a good piece of equipment to capture or a good target as it'll eliminate the uh, enemy's ability to uh, resupply, but more importantly, resupply our own vehicles. And we are continuing. Wow, look at that. We are just fully pushing. That is awesome. They did not expect us to break through like this. All right, we're going to have one UAZ go to Constantine. Actually, Leonid and Jot should be our first targets to take, and then we'll go towards center. There's fobs over there. They're very important. Well, it looks like we uh, pushed ourselves a little too far in the center. They're counterattacking a bit. Let's pull back just a little bit. Get some breathing room and eliminate those Scott 2AMs. They actually have ATGMs, so they're deadly to the T-80Bs, or they could be. But let's damn the consequences and push hard. We don't have time to really daddle around with uh, taking our time anymore. All right, one 2AM is down. ATGM's coming from the T-80Bs, and they're landing hits with everything they've got. Beautiful. All right, lots of enemy equipment over here on the left flank. Let's take that. We'll get a FOB, or a command to go to the left. We'll bring up a UAZ here, and we'll get one going over here to Leonid. Fantastic. We're clearing the Americans from the plateau. Our choppers have a position on the right to re-secure, or resupply, once it's been secure. We don't have enough tanks, though. Let's get some more tanks out. We definitely need some higher-level tanks to uh, continue to clear these areas. Perhaps we should bring some T-80s to the left to clear out some of those lower-level tanks. T-34s can't even scratch the surface of a T-80, so that's good. T-55s being liquidated by our ATGMs. Let's continue the advance. Let's get that recon up here, too. We've got recon everywhere, choppers on either side, and the UAZ-469 in the center. 
Very good. All right, we're creeping closer to uh, Jot. The enemy may have recon around. One thing that I remember being a very big pain in this uh, mission is uh, artillery. The enemy will launch a lot of artillery against us and a huge counterattack. It's a very, very difficult mission, so it's not going to be easy. They'll bring a lot of equipment at us to try to stop us from capturing Constantine, or once it's been captured, their reinforcements will arrive in droves. The French, of course, have a highly mobile force. The Germans are heavy armor. The British are even heavier armor, or around the same, and the Americans are a mix of both heavy armor and also uh, mobile forces, so we'll need to make sure we don't get outmaneuvered by them. Looks like there's a lot of... G wow, look at all the special units out there, the uh, special infantry that are out there, all, all different types of infantry on the run. You can see why we yeah, needed to push up and capture those fobs. Let's get closer to that fob. T-55s are routing into the woods, and uh, MI-24V firing those 30 millimeters. Beautiful. All right, let's go resupply all of our choppers. We've just captured a fob. That's going to be a necessary thing to stop for before we attack on the right flank. Left flank, though, is almost taken. We just need to keep the enemy back away from us with their, oh, wow, all their oh, equipment and weaponry. Oh, they're coming in for a counterattack. Hopefully those T-80s arrive soon. Uh-oh. Let's push everything back. They've gotten ballsy. Push it back, boys. Chopper's taking a few hits. T-80s. Yeah, UAZ, pull back now. All right, they've got a hell of a lot of equipment there. Bratislava captured. NATO Czechoslovakian forces are surrendering in Slovakia. Fantastic. One Scott eliminated. We just need to get in there and get resupplied. Otherwise, we're, we don't have a fighting force. All right, let's get our tanks into cover here. So we can continue our attack momentarily. We'll get them around the city. Okay, the enemy knows we are outside of Constantine. And they are definitely uh, demoralized. That's why they've retreated so far. We need to get rid of all those tanks. They've kind of, uh, we have a little bit of a standoff here, but once we get to that fob, we are unstoppable. Now let's get up here and take a look at Leonid. T-55 spotted there. I think an ATGM might be fired. Oh, no, never mind. They're empty. All right, I don't mind the T-55 escaping. Oh, ho, look at the damage being caused to uh, Czechoslovakian infantry there. Topazes are also part of it. Fantastic. Remember to timestamp all of the messages, too, that we see, as it'll show the story play out. We also need to eliminate uh, 4,000 points more, or rather, we need to get to 4,000 points. We have to have more points than the enemy when the mission ends. We also need to capture one of their reinforcement points and also hold Jot and uh, Leonid for a certain amount of time. All right, all of our choppers look like they're ready over here. So let's go ahead and get ready to attack. We need to push them out of here, so that way we can capture the top. UAZ here looks like it's ready to go. We'll continue to push the enemy infantry back with T-80s. And we'll get those choppers resupplied as soon as we have that fob under our control. Boom. T-80s, or rather, uh, well, flying T-80s. The helicopters just knocking out all the T-55s. Lots of T-55s over there, too. ATGMs flying out. It's good to see those things get destroyed quickly uh, because we don't want to see too many missiles get lost. The closer we are, the better as well. Let's actually fly a little bit closer. We've got all sorts of choppers all around. Let's get ready to come up to the top of the hill. Sheridans are getting hit next. We'll take that position shortly. And the UAZ securing. Beautiful. Jot. All right, our first objective is complete. All right, now that we have point income and also uh, more fobs for our helicopters, this should speed things up. Look at that. We've already gobbled up one fob already. And there should be more around here. Oh, there's one. All right, that could be our next target there. But the T-55's around. Boom, look at all those missiles flying in. Sheridans are almost eliminated. Good. All right, let's push up with the recon chopper. Make sure we're completely secure. Now we can start flooding in infantry and tanks. What do we have for infantry? It looks like we were able to salvage some VDV forces and a lot of skilled uh, motor streliki, too. Those might be uh, very val valuable units to have at Constantine. But I want to specialize more on tanks at the moment. T-72s are really heavily armored. Six frontal armor on those. Very nice uh, tanks, and as well as the uh, T-64B. Skill might be a little bit more of a thing here, but we've got about seven minutes to secure that other position. In the meantime, since we have time to spare, before we need to clear that area, I'm going to take the time to clear our flanks, so that way we have less enemy vehicles to deal with later. Now that the FOBs have been re uh, that they've uh, been captured, we can now use them as resupply for the choppers at any time. So let's get the choppers out of here, and let's see if we can find some more targets of opportunity. Constantine now need, uh, needing to be taken. I think we could probably get a chopper in there to capture that. Got a lot of additional points flying in. Seems to be only just the T-55s out there, but there could be infantry around anywhere. Let's creep up a little closer now. 
with the T-80s. Nothing's fired at us, so we know we're pretty clear. All right, forward operating base captured again. I want to avoid the forests. Looks like we destroy... Oh, looks like they have recon out there. And it looks like enemy infantry out in the open, too. Okay, we can definitely get them as soon as they come out in the open. T-80Bs will eliminate them. Fire! Oh, go ahead. T-55s and infantry there should be a quick target to deal with. Toes and Sheridan and everything else. That's going to have to be our next target. West German units reinforcing NATO operations. The West Germans will be on the way shortly. The NATO forces must have some sort of a plan to uh, dislodge us from this area. Okay, let's start taking out everything around us. Let's make sure that infantry doesn't make their way out there either. Main guns still have a lot of firepower. Five minutes remaining. Oh, RM-70s, those are going to be a good target. Lots of firepower going out. All right. Well, a little bit of a big final battle here. Oh, did we blow up a Kolos truck? Oh, I think I see supply there. Don't blow up the supply. We need it. All right, excellent. RM-70s are being destroyed. Those are fantastic units to destroy. They are uh, essentially uh, artillery, rocket artillery. So I don't want to see those around. All right, we're going to need to pump reinforcements into the center right away. More T-80Bs might be a good option for us. More supply and actually more, more guns might win here. So let's actually call up uh, T-72s so we have more, uh, more tanks spread around. We'll actually spread them out shortly as soon as they arrive. Finish off those Sheridans, boys. Hmm. We're actually doing a good job of capturing the right flank. We might actually end up uh, capturing Fedor since it's so close. I might try to uh, clear enemy sector on that right flank as we continue to pursue them. All right, I don't want to I don't want to go in there yet for another 4 minutes. I want to try to take all of our time to get points. And uh, let's bring up some more infantry. We can actually bring up some skilled infantry to hide here in the woods at Jot uh, to slow the enemy down when they try to attack and flank us. Once we take Constantine, they're going to attack Leonid, Jot, and Constantine. And if we can keep all those areas safe, we'll have done a big favor to the uh, ground forces. All right, let's see. We've got a fob here. Let's go ahead and resupply over there. I hope our choppers can make it. If not, we'll have to bring out fuel for them. There's two Kolos trucks out there. Motor Streliki pushing forward. Unwise. Very unwise. Oof. That's bad. T-80Bs. Oof. Yeah, you're not going to win that battle. All right, lots of choppers here on the right flank. Could still be enemy infantry in the woods. We're going to pretend as if all woods are occupied by enemy forces. I believe they actually have recon out there that helps them to zero in with their artillery. So our goals are either A, destroy the infantry, or B... Uh, stop the, um, looks like this forest is clear. Either destroy the artillery or stop the recon forces from peeking at you. Oh, MI2 needs some fuel here before we go any further. Let's actually go back and resupply everyone. One last time, that fob's going to be gobbled up almost immediately. Uh, T-72s are arriving, good. And we have an additional chopper at our disposal, good. T-80Bs will need resupply shortly. Let's bring up the UAZ scout out and see if we can clear it out. we got 2 minutes and 48 seconds. Should be enough to clean everything up. Wow, MI2 barely made it. Had less than like 20 fuel in there. There we go. Alright, everyone's getting refueled. This will be our last attack with all these choppers. They are extremely expensive to operate. Those are not cheap units to operate. Expensive in supply. Okay. Okay, we're going to try to put T-72s around. And we're going to push into the village. We now have about two minutes left to clear. So we're going to push in there with uh, everything we've got and see if we can actually clear it out. We've got a chopper here to support. There shouldn't be much left, otherwise we would have seen it by now. And the fob here has been cleared. All right, enemy forces may attack from Fedor, so we want to wipe them out the moment we see them. Fob have been ca oh, fob's captured. Nice. Now we got Kolos trucks at our disposal. Fantastic. There we go. All right, let's get these guys back to the line. 
All right, Rocket Fun will be coming here shortly. We need to uh, eliminate more enemy units than we lose. So we need to watch out for that. Leonid and uh, Constantine already being secured. Or Leonid and uh, Jot being secured. Constantine we can actually go over to. All right, that fob is worthless at this point. Okay, now we're going to get ready for a big uh, tank attack, I think. Let's get our tanks resupplied and ready to rock. We're going to have German tanks coming at us next. We're going to need some uh, good units to deal with those. And I think Conquerors might be the best thing. Uh, British Column is approaching via Krensko. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to see enemy units here very shortly. Let's get our Conquerors up here. They're very fast, so they're very good. Oh, here's some more supply. Let's watch out for the village. Where's, uh, wait, we're call Column Valet. Oh, cr this must be over here, then. Kilmody, where are they at? Palze. I don't, I don't see, actually, where they're... Delansky. Oh, there's the final enemy, Sheridan. Okay, we'll eliminate that. Am I too out of fuel again? Jeez, you were a gas guzzler. Let's go get that fob. We'll see if we can hit the enemy at uh, center. We're going to need to bring some of these tanks back. I don't think we have enough force here to stop them yet. Okay, let's bring our tanks over there. That fob is not captured by us yet. All right, it'll be a moment until enemy forces arrive. Let's get refueled again. Oh, we must have ran out of fuel. That's what it was. The fob there didn't get fully resupplied. Beautiful. Enemy Sheridan destroyed. Okay, good. Okay, we've got all these helicopters here ready to uh, ready to rock. Split up our forces then to block the woods. And the uh, factory over here. Meanwhile, let's grab the BMPs and secure the northern section. And let's prepare for a NATO attack. They'll be coming shortly. We've got uh, recon coming up too. Helicopters. Oh, good. We can get everything fully operational. All right. They'll need about another minute. We finally spot enemy uh, forces there. Looks like to be some Czechoslovakian units. T-80Bs firing ATGMs. We see... Oh, there we are. Two Dana units. Dana, Dana. Firing on our tanks. Or our helicopter. Whoa. They're not firing at the uh, recon, by the way. They might destroy it. Yep, they sure did. They're firing at the helicopter that was flying still. That's usually how they do business. There's the rocket artillery. All right, let's hit these guys in the flank. Well, luckily, they're targeting uh, an area where our troops aren't even present. Luke's, uh, oh boy. Oh, we got to get those choppers here quick. Leo 2A1s. Actually, conquerors can cause some trouble to those tanks. Let's get the helicopters to move a bit. We'll let our tanks lie in wait there. Chopper may get destroyed by artillery. Kill that infantry. Well, that chopper might be dead. Forward operating base captured, not sure where. Conquerors are standing by. Oh, wow. Luckily, they're firing all that artillery at one chopper rather than a whole group of troops. So that's good news. Looks like there's enemy forces coming to the left, too. I can see them approaching. Right back to the fob. We're going to leave our tanks hidden. All right, let's watch from behind. We can actually circle up here and get that artillery. Meanwhile, the tanks are going to have to just bro down with everything coming out of that forest. 
Conquerors can assist too. Leo 2 out in the open. Destroyed. Nice. Fire those ATGMs, boys. Beautiful. Lucky layering. The dam damn RM70s out of here. Those are like 110 points each, so they're definitely an effective unit. Right, enemy artillery is on their last legs. It looks like the T-80Bs have routed from their position. T-72As need to come up to cover. Got to cover those uh, troops from the Jaeger. Enemy artillery everywhere. Actually, hold on a second. Oh, they're firing really close to our UAZ. Oh, Link's toe. <laughs> Interesting. I think the thing hit, left the tube and then immediately hits our BMP. I don't think you should be able to fire like that into the woods anymore, sweetheart. That's not how that works. That's right. I'm not too concerned about the BMPs. I want to stop the choppers. All right, Link Toe is on the left. All right, we got a lot of points for tanks now. Let's continue to call in what we need. More T-80Bs. All right, let's see. A f fierce aerial combat over the Danbu for some control of the bridges. Very nice. We should get a command here at uh, at center, but it's probably likely to be killed. We don't need uh, we don't need one of those units. What we should get is more tanks, and we're out of everything else. So let's call out our vets. 114 points remain. Take control, Leonid. All right, we've done that. We've captured Leonid for as long as needed. Fedor is now occupied by the enemy again. We need to get over there. Actually, wait, we got a FOB right here. The enemy also captured a FOB somewhere, but I'm not sure where. But let's pull away. Actually, let's, let's pull our choppers back here. Hold on. Let's take up this FOB, since it'll be under fire soon. We need to get ready... Uh, to attack right flank. One of our other objectives is to clear Jot for five minutes, clear enemy reinforcement sector, so we need to fire on something like Fedor. We're probably going to take losses completing that, but it is a, a, an objective we're going to try to deal with. Oh, we shot down the choppers there. Nice work. t 80s standing by. I'm going to get a recon unit over here. UAZ insta-act at Leonid. Luckily, did we finish that objective? Oh, we did. All right. Well, we don't have to go back and cap it. Whatever they had there, they... They counterattacked with something. Damn, but now we're down two points for that. We've got another attack coming into uh Let's just pull back with the tanks. More German units spotted. Ooh, recon eliminated Rarden. It's actually uh Brit some British units there. Damn, that is obnoxious as hell. Right, let's hit those units there. Uh, insta act on a motor Streliki group. I heard a few gunshots and then delete. Leo 2, interesting. Oh, good, we got an ambush on them. Well, good, they're focused on the motor Streliki squads, which gives the T-80s time to finish them off. Beautiful, good work. Damn right. I don't give a damn about the Panzer Grenadiers at the moment. It was four M1 Abrams. That's what was attacking us. Time to support the tanks. Down to three Abrams. They're shaking. They must be veteran units. Chieftain Mark 10, so we're not going to be able to hold against that forever. Especially with Lynx coming over. Damn, there's even more Abrams now. Right, pull those tanks back. Alright, we need to capture that right flank. We've got uh, 10 minutes to do it. Damn it, those links are going to kill those uh, T-80s, unfortunately. I'm 
unless we can get a Genowitz up there to eliminate the Lynx. They're going to get at least one lucky missile off. Never mind. UAZ. Alright, that's fine. Well, actually, no, it's not. We need to hold that for 251. Alright, very good. Patents are next. We need to keep moving right to clear that reinforcement sector. And we try to bring in another command. Let's pull back to that uh, reinforcement point. Damn, they got in with a lucky strike, didn't they? I can't leave Olga, though. We'll need, uh, we'll need reinforcements here. We're going to have to save up enough points in order to call out a command, so we're going to have to make do with what we've got. NATO was very clever in their attacks. Alright, let's hit those chieftains. Damn, we're down to like one fob. Okay, let's move to Fedor now. We don't really have any recon. T-64Bs, let's move them up here. Cobras are spotted next. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, French force sta uh, action rapide is approaching via Obery. So now we're going to see French forces here. One last thing I want to see is more enemy tanks. Dude, we're just firing like crazy, dude. We're firing T-80s, T-72s, and a boatload of helicopters, and the enemy's still attacking. Damn it, the French are right there. Coming up from behind it, Michael. Okay, we're countering them. Get down there and take those starships out. Let's go. Oh. Convenient unit. Magical land aircraft materializing. And more tanks? Are you kidding me? Alright, they're going to feed us a helmet for free. How the hell are those conquerors? I told them to attack move over there, and they kind of just... Okay, I guess they've surrounded it. Good job. Okay, let's stop the French forces out here. Right, we have to hold for a little bit longer. 23 millimeter there, coming against those forces. Let's move over here to engage the Panzer Grenadiers. This one's going to be tough. I don't know if we can actually clear out a reinforcement sector because they're being such a pain in the ass. Rise patents and stuff coming out of nowhere. The French, ma uh, everybody materializing. <laughs> oh, 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 flash message. Oh, look, oh, Soviets have captured the world. Oh, they've captivated everyone and the quality is so awesome and wonderful. Oh, oh, look, oh, all these units. Oh. So that's how the enemy works. It's just like, oh, oh, <laughs> Like, that's not fair. It's like playing against your little brother. It's like, oh, I hit you with my missile. No, oh, yeah, oh, no, it deflected off. It's like, yeah, no, it didn't. Yeah, oh, no, it deflected. Oh. It's like, that's not how that works. 143 points. We've got five minutes to defend. We hopefully get over here before two minutes. All right, enemy force is trying to come up from behind us now. AMX 10Ps. We can't let them get to our main area. Let's clear them out at Fedor. Oh, they're trying to attack from behind us. Clever. They're just capturing FOBs, that's okay. Oh my god, we're advancing with Abram, uh, T-80s that have no uh, ammo. Oh god. Noob. That's right, we gotta advance with everything we have. We really don't have the time, this is the last mission, we gotta, we gotta win. We gotta come in with a big old crazy win. Oh, magical. Alright, recon forces there. Best AA in the game. 
That's a two. Let's get back over here. We need to hold Constantine to make sure they don't get into it. There's that fob we captured from earlier. Conquerors come back to the Kolos. We literally have nothing there. Finish with a higher score than the enemy. Well, we've got 8,000 points, so that's good. We do need to get a command out, though. Bees have a. Uh, Thirty-two bees actually have a. Uh, oh god, the leopards are going to come up from behind us. They have an auto cannon on them. All the enemy's reinforcements, convenient reinforcements. Oh wait, there we go. Enemy. Uh, clear an enemy reinforcement sector. Well, they lost their command. They bailed from there. Right, now, it doesn't say anything about holding this sector, so what I'm going to do... Wow, they've cleared us out of Olga, too? Wow. All the uh, magical BS that they get. Alright, let's see. TADB can't see anything yet. We're going to try to come over here. They're able just to drive around now and get whatever they want. We won't be able to complete that other objective, then, of securing Jot for... Uh, whatever minutes, but it's just because they got a unit to sneak by. I am going to try to complete this other one, though, of comp uh, clearing the second, but it isn't impossible. I've done it before. However, it just comes down to RNG of where the enemy is and how they attack. Let's cl kill this unit off. Those guys are annoying as hell. What? They're still calm after taking all that fire? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, essentially we're going to try to clear that American reinforcement sector, so let's get to Fedor to see if we can do that. We've lost our commands, but that's not the objective any longer. Our objective is now to uh, uh, have more points than the enemy at the end of the time. So we need to just continue to destroy uh, American forces and whomever else comes through. It is very convenient, though, how they're able to just kind of drive through and find your commands pretty instantaneously. They can do it uh, fairly easily. Right, let's pull back. So we're all out of supply. You need a crazy amount of helicopters to destroy them. And as you've seen, we've captured a countless number of fobs and even captured their fobs before they arrived, and it's still not enough. That's incredible. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? We've only got, like, machine guns left against chaparrales. So we're just going to have to fly in there and just do it the dirty way. This is the last mission, so we're just going to sacrifice everything. There we go. There goes the 30 millimeter. Taking a little too long to blow these up. Taking a little too long. All right, there we go. All right, wow. Half of our choppers, ev everything pretty much out of ammunition now. The only thing left really is conquerors. We'll have our uh, T-80s go that way. Let's try to take those out with our anti-aircraft missiles. There's only one fob that has a little bit of unit left, and that's it. Like a little, little bit of supply, and that's it. <laughs> There's no supplies left. I couldn't even call any... Well, actually, we do have points for it, but I don't have the uh, command point for it anymore. That's all right. Still hitting NATO units as they're coming out. Wow, their amount of uh, reinforcements and constant attacks are crazy. How much time do we have left? Uh, oh, 43 seconds. Okay. So we pretty much cleared Fedor. They, they uh, were able to sneak through with, like, one... They had one little tank there. Oh, look, at we were just completely out of ammunition. Like, we've captured enemy equipment. They're out of ammunition. These are out of ammunition. It's all over. We've uh, scored 9,000 points to their 6,400. So we've sure as hell given them one hell of a black eye. With these two tanks destroyed, if we had the time, that probably would have cleared the reinforcement sector because they captured that earlier. But hell, they're on the run. Look at that. We were just destroying everything. 
Where did our ITW go from four? Or, or I mean, our Conquerors must have gotten destroyed as he snuck out of there. What a glorious end to our long-fought campaign. The Allies, uh, or the NATO forces, just not able to break through the Soviets. And hell, we got them by the balls. Nicely done. I would have loved to have seen Federer fall in our hands, but it's all over. They're still shooting. NATO cheating. They're cheating. NATO, you already lost. The Stop. The fall of Prague has forced NATO command to withdraw behind the Danube and negotiate a ceasefire. Uh, yes, they've surrendered. Or at least there's a ceasefire in Czechoslovakia. Fantastic. A wonderful campaign full of uh, challenge and uh, unique uh, different types of uh, objectives. I really wish European Escalation had a lot more campaigns. They, they made an additional campaign to it and it was just kind of gross. I didn't I didn't really like it at all. Uh, I'm not going to be playing through it. I forget what it's even called, but it's just weird. It looked like the, it seemed like they tried to create new game modes and then make it into a single player campaign to see what people would think of it, but it didn't uh, it didn't do too well. Wow, look at the amount of units that these look at some of these are almost an entire f like full screen page. Like look at this. You have to scroll forever to see the amount of kills of some of these units. That's insanity, especially the T80s. Look at that. Jeez. Just a crazy amount of units destroyed by all of these. Look at this. MI-24, almost a full page. Look at... Oh, this one, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> and not even enough equipment yet. Look at all the stuff we cut through. All right, everyone. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time for more, uh, well, maybe Airland Battle next. That's pretty much all that I'm going to play. So, again, get her up to 1,000 likes for the end of this wonderful series. And get this game yourself. Maybe you can clear that reinforcement sector and uh, control jot. It's really RNG whether or not they're going to find you. It's only two, fi two minutes and 50 seconds, so not too long. But I'm proud of myself. I'm happy that this was the first uh, game that I really started my YouTube career with. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks, everyone, as always, for your support. And take care. Bye, everyone.